Uh, Daisy, um, one thing that worried me, uh, well, worries me not just today, is that uh, Liberal ministers just aren't strong enough in standing up against the media, and I include the social media. And the example I want to give is of uh, the Water Minister, uh, David Littleproud. Now, last month he got attacked for saying that he didn't know if global warming was man-made. And there has been, you know, pack attacks since. And on the ABC, he caved in completely to one of the ABC's main global warming preachers, Fran Kelly, here she is. But a lot of farmers do think this is different now, that climate change means the days are hotter, the droughts are meaner, the rains are scarcer, they're coming at different times. Do you accept that? Totally. But the Treasurer who was out with you this week, he conceded that this drought is linked to climate change. So do I. Now, Daisy, what really got me with that, it was here was a little proud, now admitting to something that climate scientists say is actually false. In fact, global warming does not cause drought. And I, just to prove it, I want people to hear from Professor Andy Pittman, who's very global warming, right up in that industry, head of the ARC Centre of Excellence for Climate Extremes. Here he is. As far as the climate scientists know, there is no link between climate change and drought. Now, that may not be what you read in the newspapers and sometimes hear commented, but there is no reason a priori why climate change should make the landscape more arid. All right, Daisy, take us through it. How did David Littleproud, the Water Minister, start off by saying something true, like, I don't know what the link is, and end up dutifully agreeing to something false that climate change causes drought? How did that happen? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a strange um, occurrence, Andrew. I mean, it's, it's not sort of what you want in government ministers to be very strong on one principle one second and then when put under pressure kind of flip to another principle on the other. I mean, we know how um, contentious the issue of climate change and climate change activism is um, amongst the, the sort of left-leaning ABC and the regressive left in general. I mean, it's, it's tailor-made for the left, the issue of climate change. It's a globalist cause. It involves a, a, a vast redistribution of wealth, and it's also morality, morality 101. It's basically morality for dummies. But for, for David Littleproud um, to go on there and, and sort, of, sort of buckle in, in the face of someone sort of hammering him, um, it doesn't sort of inspire a lot of confidence in him and other government uh, ministers holding true to their principles. So I, I understand. I mean, I'm not a climate scientist. I don't sort of put my stake in any of the science. I'm a bit of a climate centrist. But there is a, a lot of differing opinion within the science scientific community about climate change and also how to deal with it. Certainly much broader scope of opinion than the alarmists would have us agree. And, and for David Littleproud to sort of not acknowledge that and go along with the kind of climate change ABC mantra, it, it is disappointing and doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. And it's um, symptomatic of a mistake that a lot of conservatives make in politics and otherwise, which is to I capitulate agree. to the noisy left. You can't when it looks like it, the going's getting never, tough. Exactly no. right. And they, you, they will never forgive you anyway. They'll never welcome you to the club. And mm. for the water minister not to know that even one of the top global warming, you know, people on that bandwagon says there's no link between climate change and drought, you'd think the water minister might want to know that kind of detail. Uh, Daisy Cousins, <laughs> thank you so much indeed for your time. Thank you, Andrew.